I, I would really appreciate it if you guys would see us as two individuals and whatever he does is whatever he's doing and whatever I'm doing is whatever I'm doing. Austin McBroom has a sneaky plan to monetize off his and Catherine's divorce. But is this divorce even happening? We have no divorce filing. It appears that Austin may be staying at their home. And this whole RV roommate situation and all of these skits are just another way for the Ace family to come back and to make some coin. Catherine has been trying to dissociate from Austin's antics, but if they are faking this divorce, she's just as bad. So so let's get into it. If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. The Ace family has been an absolute mess. I mean, they've been a mess for a while now, but this divorce is leaving fans questioning everything. And there's a lot of people who believe that Austin and Catherine are participating in this fake divorce for clout, for more fame, and to further exploit their family. Now, remember, their divorce made headlines. After months of silence, they come back to announce that they are separating, which at first, I, I mean, I totally believed, because why would wouldn't Catherine want to leave Austin, especially after the years of cheating and then just, I mean, look at Austin McBroom. Not saying Catherine is much better, but the way that Austin has been behaving lately makes me question if he's just trying to cash in on the Snapchat coin and use his family as bait. Now, Austin has been blasting his life on Snapchat, which Snapchat has a good deal for people who make stories. They can make some money. It's like a good revenue source, which is probably why he's trying to make back some money especially with all of the legal struggles we've talked about in the past. Now, he's calling it bad luck, what he's experiencing lately, or is it more like just entertainment for people? I mean, he keeps capturing it all on his camera. Listen up. I know lately it seems like I've been unlucky, and um, I have been. But there are good things happening, you know, not often, but... So do you guys remember the other day when I had to run in with the guy at CBS... That day bothered me so much. You guys don't understand. It bothered me so much because of the way I reacted. And the run in with the CBS guy, we'll get to that clip, but he tried to, I don't know, get into a fight with some guy at CBS because of a question he had about Austin's RV, which we've talked about. I never react like that. I'm not sure what's going on with me. What I did was I took initiative and I started applying the CBS job. And so the good news is, is that I got accepted to do a job interview there today. Like, wait, tell me why I thought this man was going to be like wholesome and apologize. But no, he wants to now go to CVS and work with the same guy that he feels like harassed him when really this CVS worker just asked him, like, are you really living in an RV? Because, I mean, it recently went viral. They probably don't follow him, but just saw that, asked him about it, and he got so offended he decided to go to this guy's workplace and apply for a job. And the thing is, I'm not buying any of it. It's all for show. It's all fake. It's all phony. And I think that the separation, there's no like legal documents of them divorcing. Hmm. Like if we had those, they would be on everyone's YouTube channel right now, but they don't exist. That's pretty convenient. It's a tough situation. I'm currently living in an RV. Yeah. Um, and so like right now the bills just keep stacking on me. Mm. And so I know that if I get this job, um, I can skip the rankings and go to regular to manager yeah. and it all my bills will be paid. Obviously, this is a skit. This is fake. And it's just kind of embarrassing. Like, I feel like I see people do these things, but I I, I see these. The, you know, oh, excuse me. I see these like minors and like teenagers and like 21 year olds like doing skits like this. I, I, I don't I think Austin's in his mid 30s right now, but it's just interesting that like after seven months of not posting on their main channel, they come back with this divorce announcement. The divorce announcements pretty are like, you know, the separation, you know, the end of their marriage announcement was pretty like mature. But then this post behavior is making me rethink it all. After the interview, he went around CBS claiming he was the manager, just raising right around, chaos. Yeah, right around here. Where? I'm the manager here. One second. Okay, cool, they were usually in this aisle. Yeah, well, my, my I've seen aisle three, so. Yeah, sometimes they, they mix up, especially yeah. the candy here. Yeah. 
everybody, everyone, yeah, everyone loves candy, so they just be throwing shit. I don't know if he has a CVS connect. I don't know why he's around this store harassing people. It's just very bizarre. Um, and also just holding the phone like this, like, you know, some say I'm an influencer. I, I use imposter syndrome. It's just like, you know, I don't do those type of things where I'm constantly holding my phone in public. I would love to learn. I would love to make a TikTok. I can't think. I just, it's just like I'm too, I, I'm too busy doing this stuff. And then when I'm not doing this, it's like, do I really want to be doing this? And it just seems so awkward. I just can't imagine running around CVS doing this and then going to the back of the store. Again, is there a CVS connect here? I don't know, because then he's trying to get to the back to check on the stock for a customer. And it's like, I guess this is Snapchat entertainment. Gummy worms. Yeah, man. Sorry. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. Like, I like to put out good, like, great videos. You know, decent videos. I'm not going to go and, like, hype myself up. But I like to put out good content, and this is just not that. I mean, following the divorce announcement, this report says following the divorce, there's no paperwork. There's no paperwork. Austin's behavior has been reportedly taking an unusual turn. He has been sharing updates on Snapchat, including that he's been in this RV, um, watching Catherine's home, which I'm like, uh, does Catherine consent to this? I mean, she's obviously not stepping in. Some people think that he is struggling with mental health, maybe going insane, going through a psychosis. Financially, without Catherine, he's just trying to milk any situation and make a bunch of money off of Snapchat. And think about it. I mean, these people... They like became influencers together. Like it wasn't like one was more established than other and they kind of brought, like, you know, it was a very natural growth together. And I think now he's holding on to like, what am I going to do? He's been posting over 40 Snapchats a day since January 16th. That's a lot. I mean, I even think like seven stories on my Instagram, which I do have a personal Instagram now. It is Sloan Hooks or Sloan underscore Hooks, I believe. Um, so it's tagged in my bio on my main, but you guys should go check it out because it's a little more personal, sharing a little bit more of my life. And this is probably why he collaborated with DDG to go to his home and to cause chaos. Was he really ever going to stay there? I don't think so on that blow up mattress, but, um, yeah, they wanted to create some controversy and I think DDG was in on it. Here's a clip of himself explaining how you can make this money and why he would in fact invite Austin into his home. It was all staged. As you all know about the app Snapchat, a lot of people do not know this. They do not know that they're paying millions of dollars every single month to a bunch of regular creators. You do not have to be popular. Like you don't have to have any followers. Spotlight. So it's kind of like a blind thing. They're really just giving away money. But Snapchat Spotlight is giving away millions of dollars. I've talked to creators that already made the money. This is not a joke. This is not a scam. For further information about this, if you think I'm lying, type in David Dobrik Snapchat person. He interviewed somebody that made a million dollars in one month. You guys may have seen it went viral recently that DDG made a song with Austin McBroom. So Austin could try to express what he's going through when separating from Catherine. DGG made this song about his divorce, and I guess it was Austin's attempt to get his family back. This was a big sign to fans that proved Austin was clowning and monetizing off of his divorce. The problem I see with this is, I mean, I had an ex write a song for me after he cheated on me. Actually, I, I'm thinking about doing a life update. Comment below if you guys want one, because I have... Mm, there's a little bit of anger in Sloan. I don't know. I just have some things I want to say. I have some things I want to say, and I just want to say them. And they're going to, you know, upset some people. But I just want to say them. Should I say them? Comment below. Because I, I, it almost was the first video I filmed today. But um, this was a big sign just, like, that Austin is completely making a joke of this separation. And even including his kids to react to this song makes me kind of sick. It's like, again, using them as bait even further. D, I need your help, man. I wrote something and I need you to freestyle it for me. I miss you. I love you. I've been in this RV. No heat. Together for eight years. We don't even speak. You know that I miss you. I'll be watching you right through the tree. I've been watching you right through the tree. Please, seriously. Can we get like a, a room check? 
Like, I'm just, I'm like, this is a, uh, is there an earthquake? But what is going on? Watching you through the tree. <gasps> It just makes me want to have security cam. I actually just got recently a lot of security cameras. If I was Catherine, I would, have a, I would have a security camera pointing right at the RV and really seeing if he's checking through. I do think maybe he could be living in an RV. Maybe that's real. Could it be an investment? I mean, they really don't have the funds to invest. But the fact that he's trying to watch her through the tree is like, <laughs> how would she have any freedom? I've been missing the kids lately. Take a hill. Can I come see you later? They keep asking if it's real. Or is this another phase? Of? Should we private our visits? Or should we just let them stay? Up? At the window trying to check on my baby. I can act like I'm okay, but I'm faking. I don't know if I can handle you dating. I don't know if I can handle you dating. Okay, Catherine, it doesn't seem like you're going to be able to escape this one. I mean, if it was real. Be home. In LA we got cold nights, I'll be shivering down to my bones. But you're still my ace girl. You're still my ace girl. Guys, I need a reaction. I I just need you guys to tell me what you think of this. In a Home Depot parking lot, Austin was spotted filming himself in a cowboy hat whimpering. Who is it? He claims he was stuck in the rain until a nice stranger offers to drive him to a massage parlor. There, things become disturbing. His masseuse, who happens to be a little person, ends up performing a bizarre and non-consensual massage on Austin McBroom. Obviously, this is staged. The interaction is unsettling. In response, Austin runs off with his clothes and his hands back to the RV that he's currently living in. But then the masseuse follows him back to the RV and the pair make up and they decide to go shopping at the supermarket. What the f Like, I'm not, we're not going to cuss here. But what the what? Wait, what? This story is gone, <laughs> is really different. Like, this stuff on the internet... I fully believe, like, once you post something on the internet, it's out there forever. So imagine your kids watching this someday. Let me get back to you. You need to get. Oh my God. How can I say this? I'm going to stuck in you for a few days because I need to see you. Why? I need to change your review max. I'm about to lose my job. This is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to give you one chance. One little chance. Okay, we got a deal? But listen, this is what I'm going to need you to do, okay? I'm going to need you to take me out. You're driving. you taking me wherever you want to go, but you pay for everything. Because I ain't going to lie. I'm looking for a sugar mama. Okay? <laughs> deal. You got a deal? Deal. He's looking for a sugar mama. Straight from Austin McGroom's mouth. Okay, so I guess Catherine's no longer the sugar mama anymore. Maybe she had full control over the channel. Catherine has also addressed the situation, expressing her lack of understanding for his behavior. She stated she wants to let him figure out things for himself. Quote, I'm grateful to be evolved because his behavior and coping mechanism is beyond me. He tells me he's doing well, though, so I trust that. Mm. So it sounds like they are like on maybe weird talking terms like you know she really doesn't know what's going through his head obviously like i'm going through a very public like divorce and stuff um i'm gonna be honest like i'm an individual and austin is his individual and for a long time like for years people tend to see us as like one entity like one person but the truth is is that we're very different and we've always been very different and i think that that's the dynamic that we've always had is like two very different people coming together and how I, I would really appreciate it if you guys would see us as two individuals and whatever he does is whatever he's doing and whatever I'm doing is whatever I'm doing. And now while Catherine may be trying to dissociate from the situation and let him just run his course, Landon McBroom, his brother, has some comments of his own. In a Snapchat story, Landon acts like he's concerned and confused for his brother. It seems like he's trying to get a piece of that Snapchat spotlight. I mean, Landon has his own problems, plenty, but let's see what he has to say. Someone tell me why I woke up this morning with literally thousands of DMs and comments on my Snapchat saying, get your brother, saying, what is he doing? Mind you, I don't talk to my brother every day we're both grown men i took the privilege to going on ddg snapchat and seeing what was going on 
Uh, a lot of you guys are hitting me all the time, like, why, why aren't you this? Why aren't you that? Why aren't you more involved? Blah, blah, blah. Look, I don't know nothing. I'm left out of the loop clearly, okay? I'm over here looking at stuff online and wondering what's going on just like y'all, okay? I'm not I wonder if he learned about their divorce hmm, from the internet as well. Like, that would make me think it's even you know more fake if the family is really not involved i hear nothing i have to make calls call my mom call my brother call my dad do all this stuff searching to see what's going on i don't know and i i'm concerned obviously to say the least I, I'm, I'm concerned i'm alarmed yeah, i need to go see my brother landon of course showed up right to the rv to get a little bit of content landon what are you doing landon get your brother landon why are you doing this why is he not at your house and I'm like, what? And this is their interaction. And I mean, in my opinion, they're definitely putting on a show, but let's see what you guys have to say. You can't, like, you can't be doing this, bro. Not right now, right now. I'm trying to feel, I want, I want to do a house tour with you. Go. I know, but you like, you're, bro, what, your outfit is already on 10 right now. What? Yo. Well, I'm still making cookies. Bro, what have you been saying that? I saw this on your you Snapchat. Are my shit, bro. They still baking. Stop, bro. Come on, man. Let me get your tour. Stop. This is cookie dough. Why do you put your fingers in my... This is... It's not cooking, bro. Now, this entire situation has a lot of different layers. There's some people who believe that Catherine and Austin were never actually married in the first place, which if they weren't, then blessings to Catherine. She saved herself from a lot of... Le I mean, she's got her own legal battles, but like some of his... I believe personally that they are married. We've seen a marriage certificate before. So if they are married, then maybe fans are speculating that the divorce is fake and it's a plot to be relevant again. They haven't posted in over seven months and now they are completely relevant again. They're not really posting on YouTube, but they're posting on Snapchat every day. Our friend Mad Catster has an opinion on this. So I wanted to include a clip of his thoughts. I think it was because they really never got married. Now I have already looked at the court docket. There's not a filing yet. That doesn't mean anything. Don't read anything into that. It's They've just announced it, so they may just be starting the process. But I'm going to keep my eyes open because I want to see an actual filing for divorce. If they never file something, we'll know that they were not married. One person wrote, I'm so glad you said it. I still find it hard to believe they got legally married either. If you're having a second wedding, you call it a renewal of your vows, usually but they kept saying wedding, which leads me to believe that's exactly what they meant. This person added, a part of me is wondering if they only announced to try to be relevant again, they'll come back with a video or something saying you can't find a divorce filing because we've decided to work it out or some nonsense. Now, one person pointed out that it wasn't that long ago that they were talking about planning a big wedding. So there's one conspiracy that maybe they are profiting off of this divorce announcement to pay for their future wedding. I mean, it's a reach, but it's possible. The wedding, the wedding, the wedding. So we keep going like back and forth on when we should do it. We want to have a real beautiful no, no, massive no. ceremonial like listen, listen everybody listen. invited like you i was literally in june 2023 not that long ago so a big shift since then also some people think the divorce is fake because austin posted a story that showed that he was sleeping in Catherine's bed so are they still together is he trying to make us believe he's sleeping in that rv but cuddles up with Catherine every night so there's definitely a lot of questions to where their relationship is at and it seems like no one really has a clue. The love that you guys be giving me is crazy. Like, y'all the real MVP. Y'all the real MVP, I promise. You know, the giveaway after I pick my giveaway winners, um, if you didn't win, just know that I'll be doing more giveaways in the future. I also want to mention that Austin's been talking about doing some giveaways lately. So if you're doing, you know, very well, you would do a giveaway. So, I mean, that doesn't make sense because he keeps talking about being broke. Or is this going to be another scam? I think it's going to be the, the latter. Like, it could be another scam to try to make a little bit of money off of a big giveaway that's not much of a giveaway at all. Though people are eating up the drama, this person wrote, this is officially the best publicity stunt I've ever seen. Another person wrote, what if they planned the divorce while Austin was getting sued so she can keep the money and then they can file for bankruptcy and then, you know, Finesse the system. Another person added, didn't Catherine's brother Ryan and his girl Leslie do a we're breaking up video, delete it, and just got back together like nothing? So could be just another pattern, another stretch, another way to keep us watching. Honestly, I didn't think that I'd be talking about the Ace family. It was a while since we have because they disappeared. But this is wild. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below.
Oh my gosh, there's been going, there's been so many things going on in my life. Oh, if you aren't subscribed to Let's Get Into a Podcast, definitely go and subscribe to it. I've been posting videos there that are similar to my videos like here, but longer, deeper dives, uh, more controversial stories. Definitely go and check that out. Uh, I want to also add, oh my gosh, we're getting close to like a million. <gasps> we're getting close to a million subscribers. This I don't like how long the sleeves are on for the shirt, so don't like pay attention to that. But um, yeah, that's kind of scary. It <laughs> doesn't feel real. <laughs> We're doing it together, though, right? I'm, like, not alone in this. So um, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.